Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I have something that I wanted to bring to you all's attention, especially we're going to be updating our Fourth Amendment program, people. We call it the Secure in One's Property program. You guys have heard me speak about it often. Let me tell you what that program does and did. For the individuals who have automobiles, there are quite a few of you riding around with no license plate or your own personalized license plate, and you don't realize that your vehicle is still registered with the DMV, and all you ever received was a certificate of title. You were supposed to receive the actual title to the vehicle, not a certificate of title. The word certificate means prima facie evidence that there is a title somewhere. Just don't know where. Certificate is not your word. You don't want anything with a certificate on it. You want the original. Anything that's a certificate is a copy. For instance, for the people who heard the birth certificate video, understand that every time you go and get a birth certificate, a copy, a, <clears throat> a copy, <clears throat> excuse me, a copy of your birth certificate, you're getting a copy of your birth certificate, not the original. It's a copy of your birth certificate. Because it's a copy, it's not the original. That means that you are not the holder in due course of the original copy. I hope it's starting to make sense now. Certificate means copy, people. That's all it means. It means that somewhere, someplace, some possibility, there might be an original out there somewhere. But it's your property. So why aren't you receiving a copy of your property? You asked them for a certificate and they gave it to you. I would, if I were you all, ask them, how do I get a the original? That's my property. I don't want you holding on to my property for safekeeping. I don't want you acting as custodian of record. So what's the policy? What's the procedure? Now, they're not going to know. So the program we started allows individuals to bond their property. And by bonding their property, they get to go into small claims court. And they get to sue the DMV for holding onto their property. In the meantime, they created other documents to operate as originals. Now, we won't explain everything to you here, but that's what it did. But hold on. It also gave them what's known as a microtrust, the very same microtrust, not the exact same, but the same microtrust principles that you've heard me speaking of before. Now, many of you don't know this, so we're going to go ahead and explain it. First, you're going to go to the SATCOM website, SATCOM, S-A-T-C-O-M-M-911.com, SATCOM, S-A-T-C-O-M-M-911.com, SATCOM. You're going to go to the SATCOM website, and when you get there, you're going to see right here, first, you got this section up here, which ain't popping up right now. Got to work on that. And it's the second section. It says Fourth Amendment, Secure in One's Property Program. So we're going to click on that, and it's going to take us already over to M A M C F A M C F dot estate. A M C F. Well, this is artful. A M C F is up here. This is artful. Okay. A M C F dot estate. And you're going to click on Secure. It'll take you to this page. This explains basically what the problem, what the problem, what the program does for everyone. It is six hundred and sixty dollars, and you get a trust with it, a micro trust, securing your property. Now, let's say this group wanted the new trust that we're doing. You don't have to do it. This trust does that for you. The only other thing is that the micro trust is more than likely going to come with tax credits. Okay, that's the only other thing that will be added in addition. But other than that, you guys are okay. If you had an Omega sat pack, the only thing the micro trust is going to do is the exact same thing that the Omega sat pack did. Because we're not doing, Omegas have finished. We're not doing no more Omegas, no more Primes, no more Plus. Those have been grandfathered, and they are going to be grandfathered. Whatever trusts you all have for the SAT packs, please understand, those are all limited packs. No more to be ever made. Like I said, the idea was that they keep their value. We weren't going to keep those programs going on forever. None of our programs are going on forever. As a matter of fact, I think it will probably be 
probably until June, and then we're going to stop the Fourth Amendment and the DAP program. DAP, DAP is the Acknowledgement of the Debt Program, okay? And the DAP program, Debt Acknowledgement Program, DAP, the DAP program, ladies and gentlemen, that one has other things coming, so please be patient with us. But for right now, you should have received your the paperwork that we made available to the public. You should have received that. The next document you're going to be receiving will be for your benefit, and it won't be available to the public. So DAP, we got you. Just be patient with us a little bit longer. As this documentation is not something that can be done overnight. Okay? And... I need to make sure of everything that's in the document, so it is painstaking. All right, let's get back to the Securing One's Property Program with the Microtrust. Ladies and gentlemen, because the account includes a Microtrust, because the law says that your property is yours, you see, they can't make your property property of the state. No one can. But the, the, the Senate document number 73 says that my property is owned by the state. Yeah, document number 74, sorry, the 73rd Congress says that my property is a creature of the state. It's owned by the state. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's do this O-W-N-E-D. Uh-oh, forgot to put my, I'm sorry, forgot to do the search. Okay, we don't care about the gold certificates. We care about the next one. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. O-W-N-E-R-S-H-I-P. Ownership. Now, that's one ownership. Let's go to the second one. I haven't done this uh, search for ownership before. But here it is. And this is reading from exhibit number 28. Senate document number 43, contracts payable in gold, written in 1933. The ultimate ownership of all property is in the state. Individual so-called ownership is only by virtue of government, i.e. law, amounting to mere user. User, that's why you pay a uses tax. And use must be in accordance to law subordinate to the necessities of the state. That's why the state charges you a uses tax. You have to challenge that usury clause that they've added because they don't have the right to do so. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean they don't have the right to do so? Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm not going by this document. I'm, this document is just to show you. Private property. The Constitution says that no one's property, private property may be taken for public use without just compensation. You know what? Let me explain this, ladies and gentlemen. This document right here, I never read. And I'm glad they pointed that out because guess what? And I'm letting you know I just referred you guys to this because Family Guardian, that's who published it, saying the exact same thing that I'm saying because we are explaining the same thing here on this website. They don't have a right to take your property without compensating you. The law says that you're entitled to just compensation. They want to take it for public use since they want to put all property in the hands of the state. Well, that's taking it for public use where the law says that you have the right to be compensated. So we first start off by going after the DMV and getting their attention. And after we go after the DMV, then we go after the, oh, you guys must understand that this also deals with the birth certificate aspect of things. Gaining control, the Age of Majority Act. So this information is right here on the site. All you got to do is go over it. And then there's the Minnesota court rule. We don't care about it's Minnesota. We care about the court rule. Why? Because the courts are uniformed. So it's not just Minnesota who requires an affidavit to be filed with the register of titles. See, many of you guys were sending your junk to Minnesota. We did that at first, too. But you're supposed to be filing your affidavit with your county recorders. People say, well, you shouldn't be filing anything on their record. Why not? Why shouldn't we be filing stuff on their record, clearing up the record? They're record keepers. Why shouldn't we be filing? Well, because there's a whole lot of reasons. Okay, what are they? Well, uh, can I get back with you on that? Okay, you do that, okay? All right. 
that's that's what I keep hearing from people. We shouldn't do something, but they never prove why we shouldn't do it. They, they'll say why we shouldn't do it, but it makes no sense when you know law. I'm, I'm not joking when I say it makes no sense. Ladies and gentlemen, it makes no sense when they speak because they just regurgitating like a dog returning to his vomit. I, I, regurgitating, that's, that's, you know, that, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this right here outlines what's necessary, what's needed. Now, here is that so-called, just about all the states have this. Okay. All states repealed their UGMA statutes upon enacting the UTMA. This is the age of majority, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I think it says for Uniform Something Majority Act. Okay, oh, look at that. Are grandfathered under the original UGMA. That's for people who were around before. This is what, it all explains it. Go ahead and read it. Because that's what they got all of you locked under. That's your, everybody talk about status change, status change, status change. You, you don't understand that it's not about your status as far as whether you're a citizen or not. It's about your age. It's about gaining control of your securities. We show you the laws right here. All you got to do is go through it and read it. This is too much writing for it to be bubblegum. This is too much writing, ladies and gentlemen. If you're an individual who has attained the age of majority in a state that has a law requiring an affidavit, you should contact the court in your jurisdiction to find out more about how to file the affidavit. Here are some other states that have laws requiring an individual to produce an affidavit upon attaining the age of majority. Ta-da! It's not just Minnesota, people. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The courts are uniform. But you will have to file an affidavit. So that's why we create the trust, which incorporates an affidavit. Nobody ever sees the trust, but hey, creating your own affidavit, putting it on the record, that's all you need to do. It just needs to be on the record so that nobody can doubt it. So the new program, aside from this program, so we just wanted to let the people in the secured program know what they received because you didn't just receive a bunch of papers. You received a way to secure your property and a way to sue the Department of Motor Vehicles in Small Claims Court for each offense. For each offense. Those videos are coming. My hope is to get them done this week. Um, I'm going to do the best I can. All right? Those videos are coming. The documents are coming to correlate to autos, student loans, home loans. All right? Bear with me, please. I. This is a very important week. This is the week of the Passover. And everybody want to call it the Jewish Passover. It's not the Jewish Passover. Lord have mercy. Okay? It is not the Jewish Passover. This was not their Passover. If you go and you read the scriptures, you see the Passover is called Jehovah's Passover. This is his Passover. He is the one who provided the Passover. It wasn't the Jews, so why would it be called the Jewish Passover? Lord have mercy. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. And his son is called the Lord of the Passover. So because of that, it's the most important week of the year for me. And this is a very, very, very important month for me because it's an anniversary month for me as well. So and they both happen in the month of March. Now remember, the Passover is not always in March because the Jews had a 13-month calendar. The Passover is calculated according to that calendar. Just that simple. It's the first full moon. The week of the first full moon. Okay? That's it. That's just it. It's just that simple. It's always on a full moon. So it'll be next Sunday, the 24th of March, 2024, at sundown. That is what I'm preparing for. So I say bear with me because I may, I know I'm going to be distracted and I can't let this stuff distract me. So although your needs are very important to me, uh, nothing comes ahead of that. Okay? When you hear me talk about my God, Jehovah, I'm not just talking when you hear me talk about my 
intent on being loyal to my God in every aspect. That's not just talk. I'm not doing that religious stuff that you hear people talk about. I am talking about that relationship which nobody will be allowed to interfere or come in between. Not None of this stuff. All right. Sorry. Had to get that out because there are some people who doubt my integrity to my God. And, of course, it doesn't matter what they doubt. But sometimes it kind of, like, feels good. As Tony, Tony, Tony said, it feels good, okay, to go ahead and just let people know so that there's no mistake in the matter. All right, let's get back to the program that's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, there are going to be aspects to it that are unprecedented because nobody's done it before. The microtrust, you would have to go to the Cayman Islands or... What is the other one? Um, Nevis Kits to get a trust that is set up in a similar way. But go ahead and find a trust today where you are the grantor, the beneficiary, and the trustee, but not in those capacities all at one time. Go ahead. I dare you. That's why the first video we did on the trust thing is capacities, the law of capacities. We're going to be delving into that a little bit more so that some of you will understand. We're not going to be letting you know our whole process because we do know that people are, because they continue to do that with me. They come and they gather from us. They'll take one of our processes, one of our programs, and they'll incorporate this into what they're doing. The only problem is we are aware of that, and that's why we can't put out everything because we don't want the cookie cutter. You're supposed to take what we do and improve upon it. And many people are not doing that. We've had so many situations where people are copying the exact same thing that we're doing and then just copying it and then charging people for it, which doesn't make any sense. They didn't do any of the work. Everybody wants to make a dollar or a buck off of somebody, and I, I, I really can't stand this world that we're living in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do the best I can to keep the cost down, but I can't pay attention. I can't keep the cost too far down because first, the package, what it offers and all the elements that are associated with it, it would not be feasible, the amount of work that's going into it. Right now, I'm going to let you see, there are several documents open right there, okay? All of those documents that you see open are directly associated with the program that we have to put together, with the exception of one document. And that's not the, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. I There's a lot of work that has to be done. And if you've ever done it, then you understand what I'm talking about. But because I just came up with the program four days ago, my mind is, I haven't been able to get much accomplished today. I had, uh, purchased a battery for my solar system, 48 volts. And it wasn't what I needed. But I never returned it cost me $600. I have an older couple, neighbors who are just, they moved in about maybe seven months ago. And I, their property is about a half a mile away. Uh, well, catty corner, half a mile. And so my cameras are able to catch just a glimpse of their property. And so when somebody goes near the property, my cameras are able to pick up that somebody's at the property. So when they're not here, I'll call them and let them know, hey, you guys here? And they'll tell me, yeah, that's us. And, you know, we had that type. So they were telling me about them wanting to set up solar and all of that. And I knew they didn't have all the equipment. So I said, okay, here. And I said, I got something. And I gave them the battery. You're giving this to us? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I told you I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. No, Joe's Witnesses don't just give stuff to people all the time. Lord have mercy. But that's me. If I don't need it, I'm not going to sit up there and sell it to you. See, that's the difference between me and all these other people out here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to sell you something every day. I don't need to sell you stuff every day. That's why I give the junk to you for free. It's not out of the kindness of my heart. It's just that's me. That's always been me. Go and look. Those of you who've known my videos and been watching them since 2010, 
2011, 2012, 2014, 13, 2016, 15, 2018, 19. You notice I haven't stopped. And you notice I've always given the information. I haven't charged you. I haven't said, you got to join my group. You got to pay me in my group. Even with the trading, nobody pays us. We give you the information. Nobody pays us a dime. We don't do donations. You don't hear me saying you got to subscribe to our website. Now, we're going to be producing websites in the future where people are going to subscribe to them, but they're going to be providing completely different things than what we talk, than what I talk about on video. But ladies and gentlemen, you don't see me asking you to subscribe to anything and paying a monthly anything. I refuse. I've had several. I've done videos telling you guys several people have asked me, why can't we just charge them? Because you're not doing any other work, mother... I'm sorry. That's the response they would get. They want me to charge you so that they can have a monthly income more so than what they deserve. Why would I do that? Why would I charge you money to access the PDFs on our website? That makes no sense. When I created, I created the PDF section. I put those documents up there. And ladies and gentlemen, the wealth of information that was up there, they deleted over 40 gigabytes worth of documents. Because we wanted you to have a one-stop shop. One-stop shop. We've had people donate it to us. Miss B, I do appreciate her and her donation. It was really, really appreciated because she helped out a lot. Gave us quite a few documents that we didn't have. Ladies and gentlemen, no, you cannot donate documents to us because we have no idea what's in your documents and it could you could be one of those misleading agents of the system giving us documents to mislead everybody else. That's why we tell you we don't we don't advocate all of the documents on our website. The only documents you'll see me advocate are the ones I put up, which is why you're guaranteeing yourself that you're going to do the research because I'm going to guarantee you there's going to be mistakes in the document, guaranteed, on purpose. Because you're supposed to read everything you put on the record. You're supposed to confirm the information. The same thing you see me doing with ChatGPT. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it again. Because it needs to be said. N-O-I. Dealing with some tax issues uh, with the state of California. got to check them. But N-O-I. All of these. Lord, I do appreciate this. I don't have to go to the internet or nothing. I just click on one of them. And ta-da, there it is. And I've already set up my accounts for each one. All of them are free, but I set up my account, my email address, so I can get into each one. Oh, and by the way, if I want to go to GitHub and get some Gits, then I can go to GitHubs and get some Gits. Okay? These are the chat GPTs that I'm creating. And GitHub, get some Gits. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, N O I, N O I, GPT. Go to the video that I did earlier today. The link is in the, not the description, but the title. Did two videos earlier this morning and put the link in both of those, or just go to Google and type in N O I GPT. Let's do that. Let's see if it's there, and then I'm going to let y'all go because I've been up and I've been doing this ever since I got up. So the Secure in One's property. Ladies and gentlemen, the secure in one's property, okay, those of you who have that program, I just wish you would go file a simple suit against the DMV for their failure to provide you your title. You want to bring up at least three issues and stick to those three issues, and you want to look for more issues and have those issues pursuing them a second time. Go back and look at the video I did the other day, video number 27. It's supposed to be 26C. I labeled it as 26B. I'll correct that tonight. But that's the video you want to watch. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, let's go and do that. N-O-I. And then I got to go. Bye-bye. N-O-I. I'm about to eat me some peanut butter and jelly. Does anybody have an objection? Kiss my... I mean my uh, grits. Grits. O-I. G-P-T. N-O-I. G-P-T. Click, 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 click. No, I didn't say noise. I said N-O-I-G-P-T. So you can't do N-O-I-G-P-T. Watch what I'm, I'm going to do to make y'all get there. I'm going to separate it. Okay. 
No, 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 hold on now. That ain't going. Hey, what is Annoy GPT and its application? AI chats. People are talking about it. Hey, there you go. People are talking about it. Look, there it is right there. GitHub. That's right there. Len links, 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 links. This is the one you want. Links. I'm not going to put it on this one. Not going to put it on this one. Not on this video. This video is just me doing the video, letting you guys know about the update. But pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. I like this GPT. I think it is a perfect GPT, and thus I introduce it to you guys. Okay? I will say that it is your basic GPT. All of them are the basic ones. None of them are the private ones. But hey, all in one spot, you got to give Mr. Lynx his credit. He put it all in one spot. And if you like it, why not? He says, buy him a coffee. Why not give him a donation so that he can produce more? I suggest it. Okay. I'm the first person on YouTube to put a video up about this. So hopefully other people will follow. And ho hopefully other people will give more details. Ladies and gentlemen, I would definitely try it. You have this one I haven't been able to get working. And because when you click on this, nothing happens. See, nothing. So that might be a glitch. And so hopefully they'll take care of that. But hugging face, you got hugging face and hugging chat. Okay. Ta da! So you got hugging face and hugging chat. Ladies and gentlemen, I can only assure you that hugging face is what I've been looking for. And so I was going to be paying for some hugging face. Okay. Uh, upgrade the space to compute free CPU. I don't want no CPU. I want GPU from CPU to GPU accelerators. That's what I want. I want the GPU. Whew, man, GPU is where you need to be. And this one right here, I got to see. Okay, I got to see how this works. But for right now, I am going to keep an eye on it and see how everything works with this particular program, Hugging Face. I've had it before, just never used it. And so I'm going to be keeping an eye on Hugging Face. Okay, hey, got to go, y'all. Y'all take care, okay? Arriva, Dirty. Douchey, mooshy, spoochy, goodbye.